Hi, I'm Brandy, and in this video, I'll be walking you through your new weight loss digital planner. I'll be going over the very basics of the planner in case you're totally new to digital planning, but I'll also be giving you other tips and tricks to help you get the most out of the planner and how you can use the different page inserts, sections, and digital stickers. I'm going to be showing you how to use this planner in GoodNotes, but most of the concepts will still be the same regardless of the app you're using. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go over the basics of how a digital planner works. These tabs up here and on the sides are all hyperlinked to the corresponding page or section cover. And then same thing with like the little buttons on the screen that you see, they're all hyperlinked to the corresponding pages. An important thing to know, especially if you're new to GoodNotes, is that to tap on the hyperlinks in GoodNotes, you have to turn on read-only mode first. And to do that, all you have to do is come up to the top right corner and tap the icon that is the pencil with a line through it. So once you tap that, you're in read-only mode and you can tap on the different tabs, the different um, page inserts. And then once you're to the page that you want to go to, you would just tap that icon again to turn off read-only mode and you can write in your planner, use the text tool in your planner, whatever you need to do. So first I want to show you how you can copy and paste page inserts because as I go through this I want to show you different ways that you can use the sections and the pages and I just want to make sure you're not lost whenever I say like duplicate the page or copy and paste the page. Okay so let's just go to a random page real quick. Let's say that we want to copy and paste this page somewhere else in the planner. So to copy this page you would just come up to the top right and tap on the three dots and then select copy page and now the page is copied and then you're going to want to go to the page that you want this page to be pasted after so let's just go to a random page say we want uh, that page to be pasted after this one so then you just come up to the thumbnail view which is the four squares tap that and then tap on the down arrow on the page that you want the page to be pasted after so then you just select add page after and then paste page and you have your page pasted right after that page that you want it to go after. So you would do this for any page in your planner that you wanna uh, copy and paste to put somewhere else. And if you wanna duplicate the page that you just uh, pasted, you can just hit the down arrow and then hit duplicate. So now you have two of them. You can do that over and over as many times as you need for as many pages as you want. So now let's go over the different sections at the top here. These are just the different areas that you would organize your page inserts by and different just sections of the planner for you. And then these three um, sections over here are just custom sections for you to essentially organize page inserts or notes um, however you would like. All you would do is just label the section for whatever you want this to be for and then insert the pages for the section behind the cover page and then it's all organized and uh, ready to access at any time. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the start tab. This is just a way for you to record your starting weight and goals and keep track of all that important info. And then next we have the weight loss tab and there are these three different weight loss related page inserts. You can either keep them all in this section to keep them organized that way, or let's say for instance that you wanna use one of your custom sections for progress photos. So you would just go to the progress photos uh, page, copy it, and then go to your custom section cover page and paste it after that page. So now you have your progress photos page and you can duplicate that as many times as you want and you would just label this as progress photos. So that is just a quick example or idea for what you can use these uh, custom sections for. And then if you look down here, there are also these hyperlinks to the note page templates that are included in this planner. So they're on each section cover page and you can just tap on it to go to that note page template to easily copy and paste um, in the section that you want it in. So just keep that in mind if you want uh, note page templates. And then let's move on to the workouts tab. So there's two different workout page inserts. This is more for your monthly uh, workout planning and you can keep them in this section or um, you know, put them in a custom section or with one of the weeks. And then this is your daily workout log. So if you wanna have a more in-depth 
log of your workout, you can use this page and either keep it in this section to just duplicate over and over so you know all of your workouts are in one section, or you can put it with a day page. Okay, and then the nutrition section is just a place for you to keep recipes and plan out your meals and make grocery lists, etc. So let's go ahead and look at the recipes page. Um, this is where you can keep all your favorite or most made recipes and you would just write in the recipe name on the line and then if you tap the arrow it goes to that corresponding recipe page so you would just fill out the recipe info and that way you have all of your recipes uh, organized in one place. And then we have these other nutrition related page inserts. So um, another example of what you can use your custom sections for is that you could take one of these meal planning pages and create a custom section for your meal planning. Um, so that's just another example of how you can use your custom sections and how you can sort of customize your planner to work for you and your needs. Okay, next we have the trackers tab and there are four different tracker type inserts. So each time you want to use one of the trackers, you can duplicate it or copy it and put it anywhere else that you want in your planner. And then lastly, we have the before and after tab. This is just a way for you to, um, you know, have your before and after photos and your weight and the measurements all in one place. Now let's go ahead and move on to the actual planning pages in the planner and how they're all hyperlinked together. So the week tabs are all hyperlinked to that corresponding week page. And then these little circles, this is where you would write the dates in, and they're also hyperlinked to that daily page. And then up here on the daily page, it says view week. You would just tap that to go back to that weekly page. And then um, at the top here, there's a hyperlink to a weekly review page for each week. So you can record your progress for the week and um, you can do that for each of your weeks. They're all there for each of the 12 weeks. Okay, so that wraps up all the basics of the planner and digital planning in general. So now I wanna show you some more specific tips and good notes that will help you, especially if you're just getting started. Um, so first, what I wanna show you is how you can use the text tool in GoodNotes instead of having to handwrite everything. So let's um, go label one of our custom sections with the text tool. You just grab the text tool in the toolbar and you would set your styles that you want. So your font, the size, the alignment, the color, and then the text box color. And you can set all of these styles as the default by just tapping that and then save as default. And um, now anytime you use the text tool, it'll be in these styles. So to use it, all you do is tap anywhere on the page and it brings up that text box. And a cool newer feature in GoodNotes is that instead of using the keyboard to type everything out, you can just write anywhere on the screen and it will populate the text box with what you write. So let's say this is gonna be for progress photos. So you would just write anywhere on the screen, progress photos, and it populates the text box with that text and you would move it with your finger if you wanna move it around. Uh, you don't wanna use your pencil or stylus cause it'll just try to write in it again. And then just tap out to deselect it. And then say that you want to change the, the size or the color, you would just tap on it, say edit, and then tap on it until it's all selected. And then you can change the size and see how it went to two lines. If I want it to be one line again, I would just drag that out. And then you can change the color as well and you're good to go. And you can also move the text around with the lasso tool, but make sure that uh, text boxes is on or it won't grab it. So you just circle it, you can move it, or if you tap and hold, you can resize it. Okay, next I wanna show you how you can set your pin color or your text color to match the colors in this planner. So if you go to the info tab, you see I have these hex codes here that are used in the planner. And all you would do is grab the lasso tool and select the hex code of the color you want and then hit copy. And you would grab your pen tool or the text tool uh, depending on what you wanna set the color preset for. And then you would tap on one of the colors over here and click on custom. And then you would just paste the hex code in the hex code box. 
and then say add to presets. And now you have that color added to your preset, so you can use that for your pen color anytime you want to. It's always going to be there, and you can go through with the rest of the colors and add them as well. And if you want that, uh, these colors for your text color presets, you would just do the same process in the text tool. All right, so now let's look at the digital stickers that are included with this planner. I include them as a GoodNotes sticker book file, a note shelf sticker book file, and individual PNGs if you're using any other app. So a sticker book file is just a separate file that has all the digital stickers pre-inserted. So all you have to do is open the file and then you just copy and paste the sticker that you want. So it's a super convenient and easy way to use digital stickers. And one thing to note is that the GoodNotes and NoteShelf sticker book files are only um, able to be used in those apps because they're native files to those apps. So you can't use GoodNotes file in any other app. Same with NoteShelf, you can't use it in any other app. So just keep that in mind. So I'll go ahead and go over how you can use a GoodNotes sticker book file and how to copy and paste the stickers. Um, these tabs up here are all hyperlinked to the start of those that section for those stickers. So let's say that I want a sticky note, for instance. So I would just go to the sticky note page, grab the lasso tool and make sure images is turned on and then just draw a small circle on top of the sticker, tap and hold and hit copy. Come over to your uh, planner and go to the page that you want the sticker, tap and hold, paste, and now you have your digital sticker in your planner. You can resize it, move it around, and then tap out of it. But if you want to move it again or resize it, you just circle it again, resize. You can do whatever you need to do. And then you can also um, write on top of the digital stickers. So you can use your pen tool or the text tool and you can just write on top of it, but make sure the sticker is down first or it'll just cover up the writing. And you can move the sticker with the writing on it by circling them both. Or if you wanna move the uh, only the writing off of the sticker, you would just turn off images and then it'll only move the writing. And same with vice versa, if you wanna move only the sticker, you would turn off handwriting and keep images on and it'll move only the sticker. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial on how to get started using your new weight loss digital planner. I hope it helped answer any questions that you might've had, but if you still need any help, just send me a message on Etsy and I'd be more than happy to help. Happy planning.